Hello there everyone, my name is Master Rufflis. Welcome to our Let's Play as Japan for Hearts of Iron 4. Operation Bumfuck J uh, China is about to happen. And so... Well, we're left with a few things. First and foremost, I forgot to tell my fighters... Actually, we don't have to go to Northern China yet as we're still not at war with them, so we can just kind of chill. But I have forgotten to make an offensive line against China, which is unfortunate. Okay. So how about we do maybe this and secure this entire area. Insufficient resources still. No divisions and basic training, mostly because I want to just focus on getting my guys set up. Actually, wait, we don't even need to upgrade. Hold on a second. And we just need to reinforce. Just trying to currently right now, where is that tab? There we go, production. I'm just currently trying to produce enough guns to support my infantry right now as is. We're kind of stretched to our breaking point, so that is something to keep in mind about. I don't think we need a naval bomber right now. Yeah, we don't really need a naval bomber. It's a little bit of a deficit right now. The Marco Polo bridge incident. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Let's see what's happening in Spain. Republican Spain and Nationalist Spain. All right, well, it's, Spain's being broken apart into a couple of different regions. Not exactly something that Spain wanted, but I guess it's something that Spain will have to deal with, which is unfortunate to say the least. And now we sort of just chill out. 6%. World tension is rising. Soon everything will explode. And nobody shall be left alive. We're somewhat building these motorized vehicles, but it is a hassle. Yes, we got basic mechanical engineering. Let's get some more research time increases. Now, yes, yes. They, on paper, it looks like Beijing and, you know, China proper has a more, I guess, powerful army than ours i mean look at their numbers they overwhelm us completely however think about it like this though i think our forces in general have better training and better equipment so that's something to keep in mind about which is why i know we're gonna win this one okay we're done improving relations i don't think i'm going to do it anymore Currently, it seems like he's volunteering forces to help out with Republican Spain. That's really about it. Let me go ahead and lower this. No, I love the music. You gotta... Okay, that's way too low. That's way too low. Yeah, you know what? That, it was fine beforehand. I'm not producing any more divisions. Gotta, gotta, you know, upgrade my guys first and foremost. And look, we're almost done. That's because our priority for uh, these ships are... I mean, not these ships, these uh, rifles is at the top. And so, as soon as we get steel, we give uh, a steel to the infantry equipment. That's it. Ooh, details. Gain conquer, focus, war goal against China. Gains annex war goal against Shenex. All right. Hey guys and gals, my name is Master Rufflis, and I'm really sorry about this, but I have to cut some of the content from the recording of today's video, mostly because it, I forgot that the event, what was it, the National Focus, right over here, that event gives me a war justification against China right off the bat, and I forgot to read that, and I screwed up. And so, instead of doing the war, instead of doing that war justification, which is conquer focus, I just did justify war goal and just waited. So instead of you guys kind of getting frustrated, uh, understandably, and waiting about a good like five or six months of game time, which translates to 18 minutes, I'm just going to declare war right now. So, oh, wait, 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 first and foremost, this time we make a offensive line, we're going to conquer Beijing, so we have to hold this whole territory, I think. Well, I mean, we could just hold here, right? Hmm. 
Where does Beijing end? That's the question. Well, this is... Yeah, this, this whole territory is Beijing. So I'll have to hold it like so. Okay. So let's do... This... Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Way better. Alright. With that done and out of the way, we will activate the plan. And... Time to declare war. Got no allies, so... Yeah, we're all good. Okay. Let's go. Have the fighters been sent in? No, they haven't, so I'll have to do that right now. Close air support, air superiority, that sort of stuff. Hmm, we're actually currently winning. Oh, now we are. This side we are losing. Oh, oh there's an 11 stack though, so makes sense. Hopefully we can hold long enough. That's for 30... Yeah, 30 days, total shot down, 47 support planes, ooh. Man, there's an ant on my foot and I'm trying to get rid of it without like canceling the video and just like focusing, but man, it's hard. Okay, right now 45% mission efficiency, that's pretty good. I suppose we could maybe move in forces from the right flank to deal with no, 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 we don't want to leave that. I remember what happened last time. Okay, we're currently winning right now, which is good. What's our production doing? Filled. Nice. Beijing will soon be mine. I do have an available war goal against this guy, but... I, I don't really want to fight right now. Free military factories. I'm just trying to see where we're at right now in terms of our national goal. Yeah, we got industrial effort. We got imperial austerity. We got spiritual mobilization. Now we're getting warrior traditions. Now, I got industrial effort mostly because I wanted extra building slots and civilian factories. Uh, imperial austerity for extra consumer goods. Well, gains natural spirit imperial austerity, which grants a uh, minus 5% consumer goods factories. Then afterwards, warrior traditions gives us 5% uh, national unity. With plus 15% natural unity and uh, division recovery rate from the National Spirit Warrior Traditions. Now, in terms of techs, I, I guess I should go through them. We're getting support weapons 1, radio, dispersed industry 2, and excavation. Excavation to get more resources, to disperse industry in order to increase more factory output and all that other stuff. Support weapons to just get um, stronger weapons throughout and all that other stuff. I think that's really about it. Okay. I think I've caught you guys up to stuff. Oh, wait. Let's go on the other side of the world. Uh, this is the nationalist Spain front with uh, the Republican Spain. And so far, it seems like Republican Spain has been the crap out of nationalist Spain. But they're not out of the woods yet. Uh, German Reich is continuing to do nothing yet. This was very uneventful. All you missed were some words that Hirohito said. Which, you know, would have been skipped over anyway, but... I digress. So far, we're winning the war. Even though they, they are numbering us quite a bit, we're just winning in total because, well, these guys have shitty fucking infantry. Look at this, look. We have heart attack 8, soft attack 52. They have 11 soft attack, 1 uh, heart attack. Now, heart attack is good against mechanized and armored divisions, where soft atta attack is good against infantry, so... These guys are literally using crossbows. In fact, I think crossbows would be more effective than the sticks and stones that they're using. They're in trench, though, so they are doing some damage. Alright, we have three military factories. We have five. Ooh. Maybe instead we go with the... Fuck, let's go here. Might as well do something, right? 
Construction wise, we're still getting factories. Uh, we got some infrastructure in Beijing. It's mostly because I guess we conquered Beijing. Yeah, we did right over there. If the initial battle plan is pushed back, we're going to send forward the second army. Though I really don't want to send in the second army as look, there's the People's Republic of China, who have conquered Shenex. It's fighting a defensive war against me? Well, it's a good thing I had my forces set up here. Maybe we should garrison these territories? I don't know. Gotcha. Never mind. Let's not play around with God's uh, tools. Instead, we will go with some military weapons. Let's go for the... We got the Type 94 tank. Might want to build that at some point. We don't have the oil, so there's no point. Weapons 2 would be great, but we don't have the equipment yet. Nor do we have improved infantry research. I mean, infantry equipment. Uh, go for artillery. Total artillery. We can go for anti-air, interwar artillery, anti-tank. Okay, that's um, all right. Let's go for improved machine tools, actually. All right, so we got these guys on the back burner. Um, are they at war with Republic of China? Soviet Union has sent volunteers. Those bastards. And the People's Republic of China are in an alliance with these guys. Those diddleheads. We'll soon have Beijing. Once we squeeze over this territory, right? And we'll have a nice defensive line against the People's Republic and China proper. Soviet forces are coming in, however. This could spell disaster. So my forces are weakened up, however. I'm gonna be moving back to heal up. Twenty-five selected, so Forces have died, plus 40% from attrition. I mean, from uh, mountains. That's uh, not good. That's not good. Support equipment. We have support equipment. So it's not supply. Low supplies. Where? Oh, I guess he's just healing up and stuff. That's why. a back and forth duel might want to send in the garrison forces to maybe help out this I'm kind of desperate right now might lose some of our territory so we might as well just send in some garrison forces to help out seal the deal Soviets sending in their forces. Let's see equipment. Light tank. Do we not have wait? Hold on a second. Infantry, alright. Infantry. Oh, there's the light tanks. You know, I was not aware that we had light tanks in this army. Or in that army, rather. Should have probably paid attention to that. Well. Suppose we can get some light tanks. And uh, let's pump it up quite a bit actually. 
priority needs to be high for these things. So let's get them right here. Yeah, I think that's fine. Oh, wait. So that will explain the low supplies, I suppose. This ant is being a nuisance. Just wonder if we have the forces to really hold on here. We'll win on the right side, though. It seems like the war is turning in our favor there. I knew they would attack us on the left flank. See that? Hook, line, and cocked. Artillery. Oh, we'll have to get that at some point. We think we do have enough tungsten. See, I was under the impression that we were just using, like, a fuck ton of infantry. But I suppose we weren't. we could possibly lose this hmm it definitely can happen now we should get the extra research lot however with everything um, happening the way that it is we might want to get army primacy or is going in favor of aggression see look 84k have lost their lives so most of his forces are dead which is good 84k hold the fuck on how do you lose 84k what are you throwing at uh, throwing pikmin at me let's move to a losing flank let's move to the left flank italy took one state ethiopia was annexed blah 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 Unfortunate. You know, Ethiopia, I think, is right next to Wakanda. Which is right next to Egypt and blah, 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 blah. Wakanda being the fictional um, nation state in Marvel. Listen. I can use what references I want. 160 days this battle will last for. <laughs> it's a losing battle, but it's going to last that long. Alright, we won the defensive battle. It seems like we are winning, albeit, um, man, we are taking a few bit of losses here and there. Defense is becoming extremely difficult to do. We are attacking, however, in multiple different areas, but holy fuck, it seems like we can actually do this. Why does it sound like the Jurassic Park mu music? I can't get that out of my head. Alright, boys, time to speed this up. I love that. It's stuck at four, and we're outnumbered greatly. But look at this. Hey, 76 days, 98 days, 114. Oh my god, it's crazy. Oh. I saw that it went down, actually. Unfortunate. Okay. Could maybe get rocket already. Oh, that's gonna take a while. Mortarized rocket already. Holy shit. Uh, let's see what to do. Hmm. Doctrine focuses on throwing shells, not men.
mutually it's mutually exclusive with mobile warfare trench warfare mass assault you know what I want I kind of want prepared defense and ground assault maybe Ooh, look a katana it's kind of pretty cool not gonna lie Mmm, breakthrough. Hmm. Let's continue down this road. It served me well. Yeah, this is one of those uh, garrisoned units. 107k lost. China, you are fucked. Please just give up. This is the biggest David and Goliath story I've seen yet. Wow, we're even winning on the left flank now. That's good. These reinforcements did help out. And even if we are losing, it's going to take 132 days. 144, blah, 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 blah. It's going to take a long time. Wow, we are winning now. Ooh. Ooh. Get him. We're losing, though. Ooh. Not good. The left flank will be where the deciding factor is. Will we take Beijing? Beijing is worth 20 victory points. 20! That's more than 10! Using equipment. Tactical bomber. Oh. I never thought to build some of those. Just call the tactical bomber? That's it? I don't have one of those. Or maybe I'm just derping out. Let me check that out really quick. What's the tactical bomber called? G3M Rico. Okay. There we go. Interwar bomber. Okay. Time to increase the priority of this little tyke. No support equipment is needed. Have we won the war yet? Well, they're fine winning, I suppose. Yes, we are winning. The right flank is still something that's, uh, that needs my attention. I want to move these guys on the left flank to the right flank, but man, it's getting difficult. This battle is such a fucking circle jerk. It's like, oh, one second we're winning, one second we're losing. Europe and Universalis battles are such a roller coaster of emotion. Look at that, losing. Oh, 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 daddy, hold on a sec. How did this happen? Oh, they push forward. They push forward. Battle currently undecided. Holy fuck. We got it. We almost got it. Okay, send in garrison forces to help out on the... What? Oh. Okay. You're taking the transport ship. That's fine. Just need infantry to hold the tide. Ah, 
Ah, uh, that's why there's huge gaps because our guys are going to the left flank to hold to finally end them once and for all. Radar station would would be good. Finally get atomic research. No, we can't. No, we can't. Don't get that cocky. Modify our government, maybe. We already got a political. Um, oh, I forgot to talk about these. So we got a. A silent workhorse in order to get us more political power. And we got someone to increase our infantry division attack and defense. We might want someone a little bit more division attrition. A little bit, a little bit cooler, I think. I don't know. Air warfare, nuclear scientist, naval theorist. I'd like more damage, actually, if. If at all possible. Okay, so right now I don't really like any of these people. Ooh, plus 5% close air support. I do kind of like that. Division attack. Or army morale. I do like Hideki Tojo's uh, recovery rate. Yeah, let's get that. Because our guys are facing off against a force that is kind of like Zerglings in StarCraft, so there's that. The left flank is. Uh, the hard left flank has never been attacked, so we can maybe focus on something else. Army innovation, that would be good. But then our next tech should be the Hindenburg. You know, I really do like the idea of airships and the Hindenburg and all that other shit. It's a shame that uh, it blew up because I feel like the future would be radically different if it was a little bit more popular. Oh well. Alright, time to speed this up a little bit. We're winning. I'll say that much. Currently, uh, I think right now, yeah, we just need 12 weapons. Bam, now we're filled up. No supplies, though. It's probably from one of our exotic weapons. Again, I, I didn't really focus on too much on artillery, light tanks, or fighters for that matter. Mostly because, well, oh, what did I assign factories to it? Mostly because we don't have the resources. We don't have a lot of steel, rubber, oil, all that other shit. Are we going to get them here, though? Let me see. Well, we could get 16 steel if we moved even uh, further down. To the left side, we do have tungsten and steel. But we need resources, so we gotta declare war and all that other shit. Peace? What's peace? What is peace? Enemy has superior air. No, that's unfortunate. They probably were able to shoot them down and they just... Uh, well, production hasn't been great for us. This little front has not advanced at all. Look at that. It's just a constant stream of units. This is the battle for Armageddon, I suppose. Production efficiency has finished up. We can now go into something else. Let's go into construction two. Speed up our construction overall. I love to get dispersed industry, but it's not looking like that's going to be a good thing. Oil plant would be. Okay. Synthetic oil is still expensive for us, so that's why I didn't really go for it. Hmm. What to do now? Go for a naval doctrine. Carrier battle groups. How about air uh, doctrines, actually? Fighter detection. Fighter... Uh... Fire detection, interception detection. How about 
fighter detection or uh crap so so conflicted on what to choose you know what let's go for computing machine look at that now it's 68 Who's winning this war? Nobody's winning. Amelia Earhart. Oh. Isn't she like dead or something? No, she disappeared, right? And then uh, people threw a pissy fit over it. Oh, is this a loss? Finally, the war develops into a loss. Or not a w the war, but rather the battle. Let's get maybe... Army motorization. No, army innovation. Uh, I feel like actually infrastructure effort is probably a good idea. Or, yeah, infrastructure effort. Wow, we actually lost that battle. No matter how many of them I kill, I still have more to like replace. Look at this, 280,000 have died. But yet, I feel like I haven't even, like, scratched the surface of their forces. Okay, I managed to push them back. That's great. This, this battle has to end. This little chunk of forces here has to stop. Extremely hot modifiers aren't really helping out as well. Do these guys even get affected by attrition? Oh, they are being affected, affected by attrition. I mean, 11 dudes walking in one tile is probably fucking them up a lot. I'm really glad I secured the left side because if I didn't do that, then uh, they just walk all over me. Offer peace. 13%. Seriously? 13? That's all? Offer peace. Huh. 13%. Holy shit. That's it? We conquered your capital and that Oh, the capital is Nan uh, Nanjing, which is in uh Shanghai. Did they switch it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they probably did. At least we conquered their air base. That's actually really good because well, it just makes it so that they have less air forces to utilize, right? Which is efficiency in 17%, but close air support has been effective 40, 45%, so that's good. I think we should maybe get yeah, air support increase over here, plus 5%. Yeah, you see this right side is being pushed back again, and then we're going to push back, and then it's just the back forth, back forth. This little pocket is really going to get me. Anyway. So you know what? I'll call here. Thank you guys for watching. Again, sorry for uh, making that mistake. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.